All right, I'm gonna make this short and sweet and clear. Here is my ancient oil burner. I just repaired it by changing out the CAD cell relay myself. I have a service agreement. The company that comes here is great. They service it once a year. They clean out everything. They vacuum everything. Uh, however, if there's an issue, they will come if I call them within 24 hours. But I keep the parts, I keep spare parts for this in the house for my own use, just in case, in case I rather try to fix it myself. I have an extra transformer, I have an extra control, I have an extra oil pump, extra nozzle, uh, filter, another CAD cell, I have a motor coming, I have a uh, taco cartridge circulator. I could pretty much rebuild this thing. I mean, I, I'm not, I didn't go out and buy a, a $200 Aquastat. If this thing breaks, I'll buy another one. You know, I'll, I'll rent the Home Depot and buy one. Uh, but in this particular case, the thing was tripping out on safety two, three, four times within the 24 hour period. Uh, pardon how disgusting this looks. It was, it looked like this when I, we moved into the house. It was, the, the prior owner didn't know you just tighten these packing nuts and, and it stops a, a drip. So these things must have been dripping for a year to get rusty like this. Doesn't affect the performance. The thing's been great, knock on wood. Anyway, so it was tripping out on safety. So I took a jumper, I jumped FF over here. FF is the CAD cell, so that will keep it going. It'll keep everything going without seeing, seeing a flame. So I took the little bleeder, I ran everything. I, I turned it back on. Uh, the f oil flow was great which means that this is this filter is not clogged and this filter is not clogged. So I shut it back up, fired right back up. So what else could it be? Could be the control, but I just replaced that. It can be the, uh, the, the spark here. I didn't even test that. I replaced this maybe, uh, maybe a year ago and it could be the motor overheating. But uh, first things first, I figured the CAD cell relay or the CAD cell, the little thing that sees the light in here uh, can you test it? Yeah, I have a multimeter. I didn't test it. It's a $20 part. I had one. Figured it's not where I'm here already. I'm, I have the part. I might as well just change it. So I, I, it's this yellow wire. It just connects right inside here. It's a 10 minute job. So I changed that and I'm living happily ever after. It's been fine. Uh, it's been, like I said, a week. So my goal here wasn't to, it wasn't to talk. I'll show you the, I'll show you the video. So just hang on. But just for the record, I have parts for my well. My well setup also have an additional tease. So I mean, it's a good idea if you enjoy fixing things to keep stuff in your house, you know, that you can use to fix. Like for my central air conditioning, for my dishwasher, I have uh, I have all, all different size, you know, all kinds of different size capacitors. You know, this one's for my outdoor AC. I have ones for the inside. This is a, a dishwasher part. So, you know, if you enjoy doing this, it's good to stock the parts. You know, I've been here for nine years. I know exactly what each part does. I know exactly what, what I need for each particular thing. And if you're here long enough, almost everything breaks. So if you can call somebody for every single thing or you can call somebody for some of the things. So I try to call somebody for none of the things. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, this is a relatively old boiler, but it's been working fine. We just had it serviced and it's been tripping out on safety uh, periodically, like sporadically for the last few days. So I'm going to check the oil flow before I call on the big guns. I don't know what they're doing. All right, so let's see how it works first. Uh, Let's loosen this a little bit. All right, let's see what the oil flow looks like.
That fur looks good. Just as a side note, you can really hear that fire up as soon as I close the uh, valve. Can be the cat skull too. dirty cad cell. So let me let this run for a second. Shut off manually. Let's take a look and see what this CAD cell looks like. Because it's possible a dirty CAD cell is causing this. So we'll open this up. I have another one where you can clean it though. All right, so getting good oil flow. Okay, let's see what we got with the, the light over here. Can be the CAD cell over here. Can be the CAD cell. It can be this thing not sparking enough. But let's see, it's possible the cat cell's dirty. So there's a cat cell over there. Let's see. I'll try to see if I can clean it a little bit. It's not dirty at all. Actually, maybe I'll just put another one in. I think it's easier to put in. Hmm. Let's get.
probably another 10, so just to be on the safe side. All right, so here's a cad cell. Cancel is this yellow one. I gotta cut it short. It's the world's longest cat cell. All right, relay. Let's see what we got here. Cancel back through. Could be the controller also. in here.
ね。So there's the cat's overlay. So what happens? 